Hi, hello. This is Ajesh. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to explain about what the procedure is and the steps for getting admission in postgraduate in the medicine. After MBBS, it's a very difficult decision to where to study your master's degree or your postgraduate degree. So let me tell you what you should know about applying for training in the UK. So firstly, you need to graduate with MPBS or equivalent from a WDOMS recognized medical school or college. So what is WDOMS? It means World Directory of Medical Schools. If you check the link on the description, you will find the list of the universities or the colleges that are approved by WDOMS. Once you have done that, apply for IELTS and score 7.5 overall and 7 each band. With that done and dusted, create a GMC account. So what is GMC? GMC is General Medical Council account that you can create on the link that I have mentioned on the description and apply for PLAB1 exams. Take at least 3 to 4 months to prepare for this exam. PLAB1 exam is one component of the second part PLAB assessment examinations for all those graduates who wish to work as physicians in the UK. PLAB1 exam is set to test your ability to apply clinical knowledge to the patient care rather than remembering and reciting the facts. After the past result, catch hold of your laptop and immediately book for a PLAB2 exam spot in London or Manchester. Prepare for at least one to two months in your home country before you come to the UK for attending academic training prior to attempting your PLAB2 exam. Once you have passed that, congratulations, you are a GMC registered doctor. Now create a profile on NHS jobs and enter a known training job. Start your job, learn how the NHS works and get involved in research etc to make a good profile. Then when the national recruitment does open up for specialty training, make sure you apply for it. You don't need to pass any extra exams, that means MRCS or MRCP to enter training in the UK. You need to pass these exams while on training, while you earn a salary and work in the hospital. Then appear for the interview and if all goes well, you will get a training post in the UK. I, I hope this was an informative video and please keep watching my videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching and please wait for my next video. Thank you. Bye.